What lies beneath the vast ice sheets of Antarctica? This frozen continent, positioned at Earth's southernmost point, is the coldest, driest, and windiest place on our planet. It covers about 14 million square kilometers, making it nearly twice the size of Australia and comparable to South America in scale. Yet despite its immense size, it's shrouded in mystery and often misunderstood. Antarctica's true scale can be appreciated when compared to the continents we know well. Overlaying it on North America reveals that it's significantly larger than the continental United States, stretching from the Canadian Arctic islands to Mexico. If placed over Europe, it would extend from Norway and Finland down to Iran and Iraq and westward past Ireland into the Mid-Atlantic. This enormous icy wilderness is almost devoid of human life, hosting only around 4,000 people in the summer and a mere 1,000 during the harsh dark winters when temperatures drop below minus 34 degrees centigrade and the sun disappears for months. Getting to Antarctica is a challenge in itself. The closest large human settlement, Ushuaua in Argentina, is about 1,000 kilometers away, separated by the treacherous Drake Passage. This stretch of water is infamous for its brutal weather, with waves reaching up to 20 meters high. Such conditions have kept human explorers at bay for centuries, with the first confirmed sighting of Antarctica not occurring until 1820 by a Russian expedition. Even today, Antarctica holds many secrets beneath its thick ice sheets. Covering more than 98% of the continent's surface, this ice is, on average, over 2 kilometers thick and in some places nearly 5 kilometers thick, almost as tall as six Burj Khalifas stacked on top of each other. This vast ice sheet contains about 61% of the world's fresh water, and if it were to melt, global sea levels could rise by around 60 meters, causing catastrophic flooding. To understand what lies beneath, scientists have used techniques like radio echo sounding, which involves flying planes over the ice and sending radio waves below to map the hidden landscape. This method has revealed glimpses of a fascinating world below the ice, but much remains unknown. In fact, it's estimated that over 90% of the continent beneath the ice is still unmapped. Despite these challenges, the limited data we have gathered is astounding. Beneath the ice, Antarctica is not a single unified landmass, but a complex landscape of mountains, valleys, and ancient geological formations. Today, we're diving deep into what's really under all that ice. Stick around till the end as we uncover the secrets hidden beneath Antarctica's frozen facade. This is Tube Geo, and let's get started. Imagine a time when Antarctica wasn't the frozen expanse we know today. Picture a lush, green land teeming with life, nestled comfortably within the massive supercontinent Gondwana. Over 200 million years ago, Antarctica shared its border with Africa, South America, Australia, and the Indian subcontinent. But the Earth, ever restless, began to shift. Tectonic forces ripped Gondwana apart, and Antarctica started its slow, solitary drift towards the South Pole. This monumental journey, spanning millions of years, saw Antarctica slowly sever its ties with its continental neighbors. By the Ishion Epoch, around 34 million years ago, the landmass had anchored itself firmly at the South Pole. The final act of isolation came with the formation of the Drake Passage, which separated Antarctica from South America. This event set the stage for the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, a relentless ocean current that circles the continent, cutting off its warmer waters and wrapping it in a frigid embrace. Around this time, the first glimmers of ice that would come to define Antarctica began to appear. Initially, ice clung to the highest elevations, but as global temperatures continued their downward spiral, Today, Antarctica's ice sheets, some of the oldest and thickest on Earth, stand as silent sentinels guarding secrets millions of years old. The climatic conditions in Antarctica are nothing short of extraordinary. Picture a land where the sun doesn't rise for months during the winter, plunging the continent into a darkness so deep it seems eternal. While in the summer, the sun does not set, casting a perpetual eerie daylight over the icy landscape. Antarctica's position, stretching from roughly 60 to 90 south latitude, places it firmly within the polar climate zone, where the environment is shaped by extremes. 
with an average elevation of around 2,500 meters. It's the highest continent on Earth. It was here at the Soviet Union's Vostok Station that the coldest temperature on Earth was recorded, a staggering 89.2 degrees centigrade in 1983. But why is Antarctica so cold? Its polar location means it receives far less solar radiation compared to other parts of the world. During the long winter months, the sun never rises above the horizon, enveloping the continent in an unending night and allowing temperatures to drop precipitously. Even in the summer, when the sun hovers just above the horizons, its rays strike the surface at a low angle, providing minimal warmth. The ice and snow that blanket Antarctica reflect most of the sunlight that does reach the surface, further preventing any significant heating. Adding to the harsh climate are the catabatic winds, which sweep down from the high interior of the continent toward the coast. These gravity-driven winds can reach hurricane speeds, making the already frigid conditions even more severe. The relentless winds and dry air make Antarctica one of the driest places on Earth, with the interior receiving less than 50 millimeters of precipitation annually. This extreme dryness classifies it as a polar desert, despite the vast quantities of ice. Hidden beneath the icy veil of Antarctica lies a spectacular secret. The Gambertsev mountain range, often called the Ghost Mountains, due to their complete concealment beneath the ice. These peaks are comparable in size to the Alps. Imagine towering summits and deep valleys, all buried under kilometers of ice. Discovered through radar imaging during the International Geophysical Year in 1958, these mountains are believed to have formed over a billion years ago. The Gamberts of Mountains stretch for about 1,200 kilometers, with peaks rising to 2,700 meters above the surrounding terrain. Despite being completely hidden under their ice, the rugged features are surprisingly well preserved, suggesting minimal erosion, a fact that puzzles scientists. These mountains are thought to be the product of ancient tectonic activity, but their precise origins remain shrouded in mystery. Research teams have utilized advanced technologies like ice-penetrating radar and seismic surveys to map the hidden contours of the Gambertsips. These efforts have revealed not only the mountain range's majestic peaks, but also intricate valley systems that may influence the movement of ice across the continent. The data collected provides crucial information about the stability of the East Antarctic Ice Sheet and how it might respond to climatic changes. Beneath the ice lies another wonder, evidence of a time when this frozen land was teeming with life, its ancient fossils and the incredible stories they tell about Antarctica's distant past. Around 100 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, Antarctica was part of a much warmer world. It was connected to other land masses, allowing a diverse array of species to roam freely across its verdant landscape. Fossil evidence suggests that dinosaurs such as the large plant-eating Antarctosaurus and the meat-eating Crylosophorus once called this land home. In addition to dinosaurs, ancient relatives of modern-day birds, fish, and even early mammals thrived here. These prehistoric creatures lived in an ecosystem that included towering conifer forests and sprawling fern fields, very different from the icy desert we see today. As the continent drifted south and the climate cooled, these once thriving ecosystems vanished under layers of ice and snow. The harsh conditions have preserved a treasure trove of fossils waiting to be discovered by modern scientists. Fossilized plants and animals provide a window into this lost world, offering insights into the evolution of life on Earth. One of the most gripping anecdotes from Antarctica's fossil history involves the discovery of a nearly complete skeleton of a Crylosophorus in the early 1900s. This dinosaur, nicknamed Elvisosaurus due to its distinctive crest, was found near the Beardmore Glacier. Its bones were so well preserved that scientists could study the intricate details of its anatomy, providing valuable information about the biology and behavior of this ancient predator. Another one of the intriguing discoveries beneath Antarctica's ice was its network of subglacial lakes. The largest of these is Lake Vostok, which lies under four kilometers of ice and is roughly the size of Lake Ontario. These lakes have been sailed off from the surface for millions of years, creating isolated ecosystems. 
scientists speculate that these lakes could harbor ancient microbial life, offering clues about life in extreme conditions and possibly providing insight into what we might find on icy moons like Europa and Enceladus. Antarctica's ice also conceals vast valleys and basins that shape the continent's hidden landscape. The Bentley Subglacial Trench is the deepest point on Earth's surface not covered by ocean, plunging about 2.5 kilometers below sea level. These deep valleys influence the flow of ice, directing it toward the coast and affecting the stability of ice sheets. Antarctica's hidden geology suggests a treasure of mineral resources including coal, iron ore, and possibly even oil and natural gas. While the Antarctic Treaty currently prohibits commercial exploitation of these resources to protect the continent's pristine environment, the potential for future exploration remains a tantalizing prospect for scientists and policymakers. Beyond economic value, studying these resources could offer valuable insights into Earth's geological history, including the processes that formed its mineral wealth and the historical climate conditions that make such deposits possible. Understanding what lies beneath Antarctica is crucial for predicting the continent's response to climate change. The structure of the bedrock influences how ice flows and melts. As global temperatures rise, the melting of these ice sheets could contribute significantly to sea level rise, impacting coastal regions worldwide. By studying the hidden features of Antarctica, scientists can develop more accurate models to forecast future changes and inform global climate policy. And that's a wrap for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to TubeGeo for more explorations into the wonders of our planet. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.